Hello, I'm Julius Williams. Let's get started on our top stories. There is a widespread flight cancellation and delays nationwide because of a problem with the FAA system that collects airline flight plans. FAA spokesman Colleen Berger said that she doesn't know how many flights are being affected or when the problem will be resolved. Governor Mark Samper is going to be taken to court on charges of him leaving the state without anyone knowing. Here's an Associated Repress report. Ethics charges appear to be on the way for South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford. The State Ethics Commission announced its decision to file charges Wednesday following a three-month probe into Sanford's use of public, commercial, and private airplanes, along with his campaign finance practices. The commission met today and um, uh, received the investigative report. Uh, they found uh, probable cause exists on uh, several um, allegations. Details on the report are slated to be released next week, but the Associated Press has found the governor violated a ban on using state planes for personal and political use. He also used expensive first class and business class seats when the rules clearly require lowest cost travel. Sanford would have to answer any charges during an ethics commission hearing early next year. The governor's lawyer predicts his client will be cleared of the allegations. The Republican governor has been under fire since revealing he led his staff to believe that he was hiking the Appalachian Trail four months ago when he was actually carrying on an affair with a woman in Argentina. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press. A high school principal in South Carolina has been arrested on charges for domestic violence. Most of the media outlet reported that Scott Brent High School principal Bernard, Bernard McDaniel was arrested November 12th and charged with aggressive criminal domestic violence. He was released the next day. A 36-year-old South Carolina man who told that police that he accidentally shot an acquaintance in the back of the head has been sentenced to 15 years in prison. The Times and Democrats of Orangeboro reported Wednesday that Anthony Tyrone Hallman of Orangeboro pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter for the July 2008 sentence death of Samuel Jameson III. A study released by United Health Foundation Tuesday found that South Carolina obesity rate continues to rise and estimated nearly half of the state residents will be obese within 10 years. The findings by Omero University Healthcare economist Dr. Ken Thorpe estimated more than 48% of South Carolinians will be clinically obese by 2018. In 2008, 35% of South Carolina state residents were obese. Now take a look at your weather. Today we're looking at mostly cloudy sky with isolated thunderstorms, a high of 71. Tonight we're looking at partly cloudy skies and a low of 47. And tomorrow we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 70. And now for your seven day, on Sunday and Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, the highs around the lower 30s and upper 50s. Monday through Wednesday, we're looking at clear skies and the highs around the middle 60s. And